What up, everybody? It is me, King Elf. I hope everybody's doing great. So, guys, if you guys don't know, I've been streaming like crazy. Um, if you guys are interested in watching or anything, I will be streaming tomorrow at 1130. Uh, you know, you, what is it, GMT or whatever, UTC, whatever it is for you guys, Eastern, East Coast, it'll be like five, seven in the morning. Things like that. So, in case you guys do wonder, I am going to be start streaming a little bit, like 30 minutes before the switch drops, like I always do. So, stay tuned for that. Um, anyways... So, Lunar Twitch Drops. So, how to participate. It's basically the same things as usual. You know, you just you connect your account to Twitch. Um, if you have a Steam, you connect your, your Steam account to Conquer's Blade, all that other stuff. Um, it's There's a whole, like, video guide on it, too, as well. Um, and there's going to be a link as well that you guys can grab. And you can just grab it, link your account, all that stuff. So, anyways, let's go over dates. So... It is between February 17th all the way till the 23rd. However, there's the Lunar Festival number one, which is February 17th to the 20th. And then there is the Lunar Festival two, which is the 20th to the 23rd. So obviously this campaign starts at 12 UTC, which I will be streaming 30 minutes beforehand, which is 11.30 AM my time. So in case anybody doesn't know. Now, for anybody wondering, there was the Twitch drops before that was a, that they gave us like the purple skin of these guys. Um, I will just basically open it just so you guys can actually have a better clear look at these guys. It's the same skin, just in a different color. Now I, I will say, oh, wrong one. Um, I will say this one thing I am massively disappointed about is the fact that they didn't actually do it off of the lunar colors. So meaning like Lunar Festival, meaning gold and red. I thought it would have been really nice to see them do this skin in gold and red. But to be honest, black does look pretty good. So I'm I'm hoping to see this skin and hope to actually show the skin off tomorrow in the Twitch drops. So I know people are also wondering what are the rewards and everything. So the first festival and the second festival are basically the same except for the costume, like or for the outfit, attire. Uh, you get things differently. So uh, first hour, you get a lunar lucky bag, which is pretty good. I've been getting some decent stuff out of that. Random um, firework artillery, which is pretty good. Some of the firework artillery is really cool. Um, the lunar lucky bag again. And then you get the gauntlets and the great helm. So if you guys don't know, the gauntlets are the arm pieces and then the helmet, basically. just You'll get that the first Twitch drops, which is basically the 17th through the 20th, um, like I said. Then you come over here to Lunar Festival 2, you have the same stuff basically all the way until you get the boots first and then you get the chest piece. Um, in total, you have to watch basically three and then you have three hours and then you have four hours, so seven and eight hours in total for the first one and then another eight hours for this. So in total over between the 17th to the 23rd, 18, uh, whoa, holy crap, I'm really bad at math, 16 hours um, in total that you have to watch. Uh, it's basically the same things you click on you navigate yourself to twitch account and you enable drops uh, this is enabling drops on my stream how to link your account i'll be posting this uh link in my twitch drops as well in case you guys do want to head over to my stream and actually click the drops and all that stuff um i will say this as well guys in this description of this video there will obviously be my twitch you know channel that you guys can actually click on and just head over there in case you want to follow now or just wait till tomorrow and follow when I'm there and we're watching the stream together. Um, I will be doing at least, I think, 10 plus hours streaming tomorrow in case anybody does want to get their first uh, drops immediately. I know some people like to get their drops and all that stuff on the first day, which is really nice. Um, I know I didn't explain this, but the dependent, basically this means is that the first Twitch drops that you get you actually do claim the reward, um, but then after that, you need to actually claim all of the rewards after this. So you need to manually do it yourself. So it's basically making sure that you're engaging. You know, you can still do something else, but let's say you get the first switch drop and then you're working on the random artillery um, and you go away for an hour and 30 minutes and you know then you come back you would have still stayed on the firework artillery because you have to claim it so you got to make sure every time you get one of these drops you claim it immediately so that the time watched that's required will continue and it'll continue on to the next one and the next one and the next one so uh definitely make sure you guys for everybody just to make sure you guys are all you know in tuned with anybody that you're watching in the stream or just pay attention to the time and just make sure that you actually claim your drops and everything. So anyways, guys, I will see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys are a little bit excited about the Switch drops. New skin, you know, nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Um, 
but the the actual just decent rewards they're actually decent rewards compared to before so yeah so basically 16 hours in total and everything that you watch so i will see you guys next time deuces and i'm gonna have loads of more videos coming out for you guys uh as per usual <laughs> see you guys deuces